Okay, so in today's tutorial, we are going to be tackling this render right here. Uh, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to make is the tubes. So and that's going to be done with a torus. So when you put it in, don't click anywhere, don't do anything. You want to stay in this add torus section. Right down here, the minor radius, you want to mess with that. So we're going to start with the thin, the thin one right here. Right, we're going to put it right about there. The way to get it to only have like maybe this section right here is the build modifier. So we go in, press play, and you can watch it build. Uh, I'm going to bring it to right about there. And you're not really going to get a perfect, a perfect cut. You're going to have these jut outs. But the way you do it is you just sort of get it to where you want, hit apply, then hit tab. Now go to the faces section right up here. It's going to be here. Click that and then just click one, hit shift, click the other one, hit X and then click faces. And now you have a perfect cut. It's really simple. So we're just going to keep going through. As you can see, they go skinnier to thicker and thicker. A tip for this is the thinner, the skinnier the tube, the longer. So the big, big ones, I made them shorter. And then the skinnier they are, they get bigger and bigger. It's just better visually. And these don't cover up the rest of the design. So you can go in and just go in, hit A, I mean shift A, go to Taurus, and then just make it a little bit bigger, and then add the build modifier again, and you can go and make uh, the design that you want to make. So we'll go in, say right about there, and then I'm click it again. I'm going to apply it, and then we'll delete these vertices right here. So when you want to place them, you go and it's the Z and you can just bring it around like that. And so I'll maybe put it like right about maybe there and then I'll go in and then I'll add one more until I get the design that I want. And you can copy my design exactly what I've done. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, so when it comes to adding some geometry to these and making them smooth, there's a procedure that you need to do. You're going to want to go in and add a solidify and then I usually give it a thickness of about about two that usually looks right about there looks good and then once it's there I'm gonna hit tab hit a to make sure they're all selected left click and I'm gonna subdivide it twice and then of course add smoothing so it looks all good but we can see the vertices so we want to make it smooth so we hit shade smooth and now we get this horrible edge right here so we're gonna go back to flat and we need to add a bevel modifier so I usually add my width at 0 0.002 so just barely bevels it so give it five segments and now we have this but we can still see the vertices so what we need to do is right here on limit method just click angle and now it's perfectly smooth and we didn't have to add a subdivision surface modifier and over overload our computer so now that we have that just go in and add that to all your models. I'm going to go and add a couple more to add to my design, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I finished my design. We need to rotate these to finish the rest of our tutorial. So you could either just pick each individual one and just rotate them by 90 degrees on the x-axis, and that's going to take a long time. So here's what we need to do. Go in and add in an empty, just one of these. And so I've already applied one here. It's my empty. And so what I did was I went and I selected all my tubes, just hit B, box select, and then I go to my empty, I hit shift, I click the empty, I hit control P, parent to the object. So what that does is when I rotate this empty, everything rotates with it. So I'm gonna rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees, and now all of them rotate together and it's really nice. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add a plane and then select my, select my empty, and just bring it up and there we have it super easy to move all of these by themselves okay so now we need to make this model right here it's done with the array modifier so I'm going to take away those and I'm gonna delete this first thing we need to add is a UV sphere and we need to cut it in half so hit tilde and click front so that we can see right here in the middle now right up here click show whole scene transparent so we can see right through our object so we can cut through it. So hit B for box select 
and cut right there and now everything is selected unclick transparent hit X and hit click faces and now we have this so hit control click the up arrow and just put it right here in the middle we want it to snap to the grid so it's right there and we won't have a problem we can rotate it and it's right in the middle of our model so we're going to use the same procedure that we did on the tubes to give it that thickness so we're going to add that solidify and the bevel okay so now we have a perfectly smooth piece I'm going to add an empty real quick hit shift bring it right here to the middle and then let's add our array so click the array modifier right here where it says one click zero on your object offset click that and then click our empty so I'm going to name it real quick so we know where it is I'm gonna call it move go back and we'll select move so when we do that that's going to tell our tubes to use this right here so we're going to take our empty and we're going to scale it up like this we're going to give it about this much thickness between and then in our array we'll just bring up the numbers just like that and I'm bring my tubes back in I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna select the move and the sphere so that nothing changes and I'm gonna scale it back down so now I'm gonna take our move empty and just mess with the rotation just you can play around with it and you can do whatever you like now I'm gonna select the both of them rotate it over here and now we have this interesting model and you can do whatever you want so now that we have our setup here we're gonna give it a background real quickly so give it this I'm gonna duplicate this bring it here back it up and you can add whatever background or even no background at all I recommend a background because it looks better now we're gonna quickly add in our camera hit shift alt zero snap it to view and then hit G and middle click to bring it up like this and just center it and do whatever you want so now for the lighting simple we're gonna have three lights we're gonna have an area lamp we're gonna get our area lamp bring it all the way up here scale it up and give it a strength of 1000 then we're gonna have another light another area lamp bring it up to about the middle here bring it over here hit R twice and you can see where it points scale it up give it a strength of 500 and then one more one more area lamp area bring it up here so we're gonna bring it right up here we don't want it directly right in front of it just to the right we're gonna just to add some dynamic lighting bring it up scale it and give it a strength of 500 and now if we check our render we have nice even lighting so that's that's it for the lighting I'm gonna bring my camera in just a tad bit and we'll proceed with coloring so when it comes to the colors that I picked I used the Adobe color CC app I'm gonna link this color palette in the description so what you can do is you just click the color you want right here where it says hex just highlight it control C and then I'm gonna to go to the look dev mode you can click your model give it a new material and then right here on the color where it says hex you click it control V paste and then I made them all metallic and then you just make that metallic and I went in and just added the colors to random ones I highly recommend using these color palettes if you go to the website click explore and you have all these color palettes free for you to use no copyright anything like that just click one click edit copy and then you can click on the colors and then copy and paste the hex so that's what I did for the color that's the whole render um, it the camera the size is 2000 by 2000 if you're going to Instagram just do it 1500 by 1500 that's all you need but I generally keep it at 2000 by 2000 because that's a good number for what I use them for and there you go um, I made my samples at 600 and I gave it 0 0.1 on the denoising and that's all for the tutorial I hope you had fun with this one this is one of my favorite renders that I've made so far I'm really happy with it and I hope you learned something thanks for watching